In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create five grid and fill infographic option slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, it will show me with this shape, the option number one, I have added some uh, faded uh, reflection effect also here. Then you can add the icon, the title and the detailed text. When I click with a different color combination, uh, this is the second option, the third option, the fourth and the fifth option. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and I have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. I had a new slide and change the background to any dark color background then go to the insert shapes. I am going to choose uh, from the rectangles the rectangle rounded corner and make sure that you can see the small orange point make sure this tag inside shape outline i'm making no outline then here i'm going to make the height as 4.2 and here the width as 2.11 all right so you can see here this width i got now i would like to make only from the three uh, play corners it should be a rounded corner and one it should be straight for that i need to add one more shape go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle halfway through only like this you can see here shape outline make it no outline and i got this shape again make sure that when you zoom it should be properly aligned if it is like this it will not look good okay so undo that part and then i'm going to select this shape and this shape shape format merge shapes and make it union so i got one shape here so let me just go to view enable the guides and i'm going to make it shape format align center align middle then hold the control shift key you can drag it but before that one i would like to add some gradient fill here so select the gradient fill so before i have used this three color combination that's the reason it is showing here and then i'm going to add one more shape where i'm going to duplicate this one press ctrl d shape fill i'm going to make it white hold the shift key reduce the size and put it here like this all right so you can see here we have done the same way here so here also i'm going to do the same thing again if you want you can just go to the effects shadows presets and i'm going to choose maybe this is from uh say offset bottom right okay so i got this shape then the next thing which we need to do is we need to give some reflection effect also that uh, we can do it but before that one we can add the text as you can see here i've added the icon the text and the detailed text the option number at the bottom so i'm going to do the same thing go to insert text box i'm going to say this is option number one make it bold i can use the open sans uh, extra bold font left align only keep it here again if you want you can just change to white color increase the size okay it should be bigger this is one and then go to insert text you can add the title center align make it bold and if you want you can use the font color which is blue it's up to you you can keep it gray as well then go to insert text box equals lorem within brackets one I don't want this much large text. I'm going to delete some. The other one, center align, reduce the font size. And I'm going to give some gray color. Okay, so it looks something like this. The title, let me just bring it down. And if you want, you can just go to the insert icons also. You can select. So let me just select one icon here. Today, I believe there's a network or internet problem. It's taking time. Let me just do it once again. Yeah. So I'm going to maybe choose this, uh, the map of Africa. Reduce the size to maybe 0.6. It's reduced and graphic fill. I'm going to give the same blue color what I have used here. So once this is done, select all the shapes, press Ctrl G to group it go to the effects and go to the reflection presets you can just choose any reflection here okay so this is done 
I'm going to hold the control shift key one here one here then I'm going to select this one one here towards the right and one towards the left and make sure that they should be equal spacing so I'm going to select all these five objects go to the graphics format or go to the shape format you can see here align distribute horizontally okay and once this is done so this is my second option this is my third option this is my fourth option and this is the fifth option so again depending if you want you can just keep it uh, one uh, this one only one uh, color only or you can just change the colors for example i would like to change the color for this so i'm going to select this one here you can just go and choose any random colors okay but it should be it should look good actually so i'm going to say uh, maybe a color combination of orange dark orange you can see here then i want to give some different color here some lighter color and go to the more colors and here i would like to change to more lighter color whichever way you want you can see here and again if you want to change the direction also you are something like this or like this whatever you can see here you can just go and choose any color of your choice three color combination or i can just go here and i can just choose maybe a, a blue color combination or not blue maybe a, a kind of a purple color so i'm going to select one uh, light purple color you can see here then I'm going to choose some different color here, but it should be related, maybe somewhat uh, more lighter here. And here I'm going to choose maybe a kind of pink. You can see here, but the color in the center is not matching. So again, if you want, okay, sorry, there's one more added here, sorry. And here you can see here, I can just go here and I can give more lighter color all right so like way you can just change the different different color combinations depending on the requirement so once this is done you can change the icons you can change the color for example i want to change this icon itself i'm going to select the icons go to the graphics format change graphic from icons now i'm going to choose some different icon from the list maybe i'm going to choose this one click insert and the color graphic color i would like to use the color which i've used here and the text also the same color i'm going to choose so you can see here likewise you can just change all those things so to do the animation simple animations i can go to the animations enable the animation pane select all these five options by holding the shift key and you can select maybe fly in and it should happen on click and there should be some jerk okay effect option i'm going to bounce and increase the bounce and, and click ok so it comes like this you can see here if i play again one two three four and five so this simple way you can do the animations